Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about mission statements. So mission statements come after a vision statement has already been created. So it's the second step in the process of uh, producing or coming up with developing direction for the organization. So we have vision statements, we have mission statements, and then oftentimes we also have something called leader's intent that links vision and mission to operations of an organization. So obviously we know that Every organization, every corporation is pretty much unique in what it's doing and why it's doing it. So we want to make sure that we communicate the differences, how we are set apart, why we are better, why we're doing something a different way, uh, what we're doing. And we are communicating this in our vision and mission statements. So the mission statement specifically then talks about central tasks and priorities of an organization. So we want to make sure that we are developing a mission statement so we can have some future direction of the organization. And it also works as a real good reminder to our employees about the purpose of what they're doing and why they're doing it. So it is an enduring statement of purpose that distinguishes one business from other similar firms, right? So there might be a lot of organizations that provide laptops, but why they do it and how they do it might be a little bit different. So vision and mission statements are puzzle pieces for direction for any size organization. So whether you are the leader of a large or a small, you have to have a mission statement. Uh, certainly, if you're in a big organization, there must be mission statements so we can energize and motivate and give purpose to our employees. And in these larger organizations uh, where we have multiple divisions or departments or units, what we want to do or what we see happen a lot is that these different divisions might actually have their own uh, mission statements, right? So they have their own mission statements and they obviously have to align clearly with the mission statement of the larger organization. So a clear mission statement, when, when we write it, uh, have to describe the central tasks. What is it that we do? And the priorities of our efforts. So central tasks and priorities so that we know uh, where we're going, having some future direction, it being a constant reminder about the purpose of our work, right? So in gist, this is really how we can write a clear mission statement. For the mission analysis process, uh, there's a lot of terminology and terms that helps those who write our mission statement uh, analyze the environment, right? So our internal environment, our external environment to help us come up with a good mission statement that resonates with our employees and also with our other stakeholders. So we have here the MET-T analysis and we also have the SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis might be a little bit more um, familiar. Uh, the MET-T might be a little bit more unfamiliar to you. The MET-T comes out of the military and it deals with mission, enemy, troops, terrain, and time. SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So this is the SWOT analysis. Uh, strengths, weaknesses are internal to the organization and we have threats and opportunities being external, right? So we have internal strengths, we have internal weaknesses, we have external opportunities, and we have external threats to the organization. So we want to identify what those are. So strengths might be things such as our leadership, collaboration, teamwork, processes, logistics, uh, just-in-time inventory. It can be anything that the organization is exceptionally good at or uh, that the organization does very, very well. Those are our strengths. Obviously, we have weaknesses. 
what are our internal limitations to the organization? Are there issues with headquarters, uh, with our leadership teams? Uh, so anything that makes the organization unable to provide or perform or makes us less um, effective. Uh, so we might have, you know, not enough resources. We might actually have um, very bad uh, leadership. We might have a cynical leader. We might have um, functional teams that don't work very well together. It's a lot of different reasons for why we have, or I for the weaknesses in an organization. So what are they? Do we need to fix them? Um, do we need to address them? Or are there things we can action, actually live with? Uh, it also gives us ideas about what we can and cannot do. So if we have weaknesses in certain areas, maybe there are some opportunities we cannot go after because we are not going to be able to be successful with those. So opportunities then are the immediate areas of operation uh, is what we do day to day. But outside of that, we have external opportunities where we can either grow, we grow in our market, we find new markets, we um, find different places to sell our services, we can do maybe our services a little bit differently, whatever it is, what are the opportunities where we can actually grow uh, or pick a new direction. We also have threats. Maybe we have competitors coming into a market. Maybe there's some government regulations or legislation that is coming down that will limit our opportunity to do something. So we always have to pay attention to the threats, even though we might not necessarily be able to address them. But we need to be aware uh, and see how and if they impact us. All right. So this is the MET-T and SWOT being compared side by side. Um, it's not a perfect comparison side by side, but it gives us some sort of idea about how they line up. So if you look on the left side, you can have the MET-T, you have the mission enemy, terrain, troops, and time. So mission obviously is what are we doing? It typically comes from headquarters or top management, uh, or maybe sometimes actually you get to do that on your own. Um, enemy is the competitor's capability. So what are they good at doing? So these are maybe threats to us, which is why we call it an enemy, um, so threats to the organization. The terrain, they, this is the areas of operation and influence that we talk about continuously, and this is specifically to the market we are in. At time, uh, oh, I'm sorry, troops, I was skipping troops there. So troops, uh, what do we have available to us in terms of resources and capabilities, and then comes time. Uh, time is typically a constraint we don't have endless time. So period of time is when does the mission start and when does the mission end? So the period of time to perform the mission. Uh, and the SWOT we already talked about, it lines up sort of with the METI analysis. The only thing that they have added on here is this strategy, uh, which is not really inside a SWOT, a true SWOT analysis. Uh, but to line up here with the time period, of course, and we can say that when we're talking about strategy, it's typically longer term, three to five years. When we're talking about daily operations, actually getting work done, uh, we can analyze for about a fiscal year, so one year. Okay, so an effective mission statement then ought to contain the who, what, when, where, and why. So if you cover all of those components, you are pretty much covering uh, the range and the breadth of what the statement should be including. So the mission statement would specifically then identify, right, so who is being tasked with what, what is the task we're focusing on, when is it to be taking place and where is it to be taking place and then why this big why that a lot of the time doesn't really get fully addressed so think about the purpose why are we accomplishing something uh, in terms of what the actual statement will look like it can vary obviously they can be different in length content format um, so the actual text, if you will, of a mission statement 
it, it, it's up to the organization. Again, this is to convey the purpose and tasks of an organization to give us identity and purpose. Um, so it's up to the organization, uh, but again, can vary in length, content, and format. All right, that's going to capture it for this uh, brief video on mission statements. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.